my people, it's Levy Promos again and again and again. If you need music production, here is a studio. Don't go to anywhere else. You'll get quality music, affordable prices, and that's going to be amazing. So today I'm going to show you if you're a keyboardist, you want to your, your, your keyboard to sound like a bass guitar. So I'm going to show you the slides. The woo -woo. And you'll have to use, we have to use this. You have to find for this, eh? a pedal. Because you don't want to be using your pitch band then you're playing the bass and you're playing the right hand and you're a one-man band so you need a sustainer pedal to assign it to do the work because you don't have three hands you're just assigning this pedal so that you can get that we call we call it a bass drop yeah so i'm going to show you um how to do it and this is how we set the keyboard so that you can achieve that so this is how it will sound okay if I show you how to set. many ways that you can do with it so the first step is this eh? you come to the if you're, if you're using a sx 600 or any sx or even the s series you come to the function or the menu you press the menu then you come to the uh, controller you'll find something like this uh -huh. yeah it's the controller just yeah it's, it's drawn a pedal then you press enter then you come here to the foot pedal. Make sure that you or you put your pedal in the foot pedal one, okay? Foot switch one. So come to the foot pedal here. Uh, the first thing that comes is the sustain. So you come here. You come here. Let me show you. Try to come closer. See whether it will focus. Mm -hmm. We are about to get that to focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes perfect now you come here you choose pitch band pitch band up you see you can you can do up or down depending on your test so this helps you instead of now using your your pitch band here to make your base to have the drop up down you assign it to the foot okay so you come here put the range you can test the range then don't forget to assign it here to the left then mute these to be on on the right one and on the right two only to be on the left okay so this how then after that you have to uh, change your pedal settings to be vice versa for me um um, <laughs> I usually, I usually, when I'm playing, the pedal, the pedal isn't. Um, I, I usually, how do I explain this? You play, then I step on the pedal. That's how I usually operate it. But there are some people who usually operate operate it vice versa. Um, they press the pedal, then play the chords. Then when they release the pedal, is when now the sustain is on. But now, yeah, I want you to do it like that vice versa so and that one you achieve by the switch here you see mine already switch it okay then after that now when you play uh now when you play because i've already assigned it to the range four maybe or five you see it's a different key because it's vice versa if I switch it on, if I switch it the, the way it should be, it will be on key, you see. But I want it to be to be vice versa because that's how, where it works good with the bass. Yeah. So once I step it comes on the key. So that's how I, I recommend it to be done. Okay. 
So I'm stepping down when I'm playing. So when I want the slide, I, I release the, the pedal. So So that's what I do to achieve the that. So You can't achieve such things without assigning it like that. Like uh, it won't sound good. But this it sounds like a bass. It's like you're sliding uh, the wire. Yeah, I'm trying to explain it in simplest simplest form. Okay. Yes. So yeah, what else? You just subscribe because I'm helping you a lot. Now you have solved your problem. Yes. And we are good to go. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes, yes. <laughs>